Hey everyone and welcome to Hips and Hamstrings, the class where we stretch our hips and our hamstrings. Today we're going to start um, a lying on the floor. You're going to need to have either your block or uh, your towel or your blanket with you. So when you're ready, I'll meet you on the mat. All right, so go ahead and lay down and place your prop underneath your right leg. And then you're going to take your left ankle and cross it over your right knee. And we're just gently going to push and then release that leg. And we're just looking to wake up that hip joint a little bit. And you can let your pelvis move. You can let anything that wants to move, move. And now start getting the leg involved a little bit more. So the leg is, is what's doing the work. And then you can do your leg and your arm. And now take your left foot and we're going to thread it under our right, right leg and place your foot on the prop. The pelvis is still and stable now. And then open your left knee down towards the floor. And we want to try to maintain that nice level pelvis. And then bring it back up. And open that left hip and bring it back up. So just do a couple of these nice and slow. Looking for a little bit more mobility in that hip as you go down with each and every one. Stay heavy in the right side. All right, we're gonna change to the other side now. So take your prop, place it underneath your left side, right ankle to the left knee, and just let the leg relax. Do the work with your arm, press it open, let it release. And then start getting the leg involved in the movement or an active participant in the movement. All right, and then take that right, uh, right foot, thread it underneath your left leg, bring your foot to the prop, level out your pelvis, even weight in both sides. Go ahead and open that right knee down towards the floor. Woo. And bring it back up. Stay heavy in the left side. And just two more. All right, then we're going to come up so we can get ourselves set up for the next set of stretches. So we want to get our hips up on a, like a bol like on a bolster. If you have a yoga bol bolster, great. If not, that's why we have our blankets and our blocks and all these things. So we want to try to get a nice, thick, tall bundle. So I'm actually going to place my block in my blanket somewhere just so I get the height, but the blanket's also going to provide me a little bit of that padding. A lot of people will do this with a foam roller. You can use that as well underneath your pelvis. All right, so sacrum on the prop, low back is not, and you'll find a place in there, especially if you do use a foam roller, you'll find a spot that feels secure, so you can shimmy up or shimmy down a little bit until you find that spot where it doesn't feel like, oh my gosh, I'm going to fall off any moment, and then take your right knee in towards your chest and reach your left, long, or left leg super long out towards the bottom of your mat and try to get that left heel to connect to the floor. Okay, we're, we're, where we're really focused today with this stretch is in the left hip flexor area. So right where your, where your hip folds. You wanna try to open that as much as possible. So keep reaching long through that left heel. 
and little by little, just bring that right knee towards you if you can. And now take your right knee out towards your right shoulder. We're still getting that hip flexor stretch, but we're also getting a little bit of a stretch in the right hip, putting it in this position. And then take that right knee over towards your left shoulder. So this one's gonna be less in the left hip flexor and a little bit more in the back of the right hip. Okay, let's switch. So right leg out long, left knee pulls in, keep reaching that right heel longer, 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 connect it to the floor. And try as best as you can to just melt into that stretch. Let these hip flexors release a little. And then left knee over towards the left shoulder. And then left knee over towards the right shoulder. That left hip can come up off your prop. Try to keep that left shoulder heavy on the ground. And then release, slide off your prop and roll to your side, come up to sitting. <clears throat> All right, sit in the mermaid position. And usually in this, this position, we wanna to try to get the hips as level as possible, but we're not gonna worry about that too much today because what we're working on is the mobility of the hip joint. We're not doing the mermaid exercise. So as we press the left hip forward, twist nice and deep to the right. And I want you to try to get as much openness in this hip as you can. And then sink that femur bone back down into the hip socket, getting a nice deep crease in that hip joint and twist to the left. And to the right, and back to the left. All right, keep going at your own pace. And then we will switch to the other side. Legs over to the right. Now we're focused on that right hip. We're going to press forward as we twist to the left and sink it back as we twist to the right. Good, and rest it there. Hands and knees. All right, this is gonna be that deep, hip flexor stretch where we're on our hands and knees and we go down to our elbows. So if um, you know that this one is a little bit more challenging for you, bring some props up towards the top of your mat so you can use them if you need them. All right, bring your left foot forward and then walk your hands forward. So you're really trying to straighten that right leg as much as you can. And you're gonna already feel the hip flexor stretch probably. And then take your left hand to the inside of your left foot. And if this is enough stretch for you, hold it here. If this is a struggle for you, you can lift the ground up by placing a prop there. If you want to go deeper in, you can come down to an elbow or two. And sink into those hips. Try to keep that left knee just tucked in by your side. You don't have to squeeze it in, but um, we don't want it flopping out. We'll hold it for just another couple of breaths. All right, to come out of this one, place both hands on the floor if they're not already there, and then 
push yourself up. Let's switch to the other side. <clears throat> Walk your hands forward. And then the right hand comes to the inside of the foot. This side might feel very, very different, so use a prop if you need to. And come on down if you can get deep into that stretch. And then hands to the floor to press yourself on up. Knees wide, sink down into a child's pose. Try to let your torso just melt down between your legs so those knees are as wide as you can get them without just comfort. And then roll yourself on up to set it. <clears throat> All right. If hamstrings, tight hamstrings is really why you're here, go ahead and sit up on your blanket with your legs out long in front of you. So this little extra elevation in your pelvis will help bring your pelvis to a neutral spine, which will allow us to stretch the hamstrings the best. If your hamstrings are doing pretty good um, and you want to do it without the blanket, that's fine. We just, our goal is really to get into that neutral. All right, hands on your legs, nice and tall up through your spine. And then we're going to dive up and over our lap as our hands slide down our legs and roll it up. Good, slide it down, pull your belly button back. And up. Go slow. Just go to your limit. Wherever your fingers reach, they reach. If you can't reach your toes, that's a-okay. That's why you're here. Notice though, with each and every one, can you get just a teeny tiny bit further down? One more like this. And then when you come up, we're gonna take the legs wide, but then fold the right leg in. Twist over your left leg, hands on your thigh, and dive up and over your leg again. Just like we did before, only this time, with one leg. Notice how this side feels so we can compare it to the other side. Okay, last one on the left. So just over that right leg as best you can and dive up and over. Does it feel any different? Is this side easier or more challenging? This is my this is my more challenging side. I can't get, get down quite as far. All right, everyone, one more. And bring it up to setting. We're going to go back down on our backs. Uh, you won't need any props for this one. <clears throat> We're going to sneak a little bit of ankle mobility in here. So take your toes out, then your heels out, then your toes out, then your heels out. Keep going, and then walk them back in. And the next time your feet are pretty wide, you can stay there. Drop your left knee down towards your midline. Just slowly let it sink closer and closer to the ground. Your left hip can absolutely come up off the floor a little bit. Um, try to get that left knee down to the ground as long as your knee is okay. And soften into that spiraling stretch in your left leg. You're gonna feel it where you need it. So some people feel it a little bit more in their uh, like hip flexor area. Some people feel it a little bit more in their quad. 
Okay, gently bring that leg up. So the left knee's pointing up straight towards the ceiling. Let's do the right side. And then bring that knee up. All right, now we're gonna take both legs over to the right. We're trying to get that left knee just to tap the floor. And then when it does, we're coming back up and drop the knees to the left, get that right knee to tap the floor or as close to it as it can get and go back and forth. Okay, next time both knees are pointing up high towards the ceiling, you can stay, walk your feet in, take your right ankle over your left knee and then bring your left knee in towards you. Hug that left thigh towards your chest. And we're getting a nice deep number four stretch here. If you want, you can rock side to side or you can stay still. We're going to clasp, collapse, <laughs> I cannot say that word, we're going to collapse this stretch to our side. So take your right foot down to the floor on your left side. Try to open your chest towards the ceiling first, and then if you can maintain that, you can go deeper into the uh, number four stretch by bringing your knee closer towards you or pushing your knee further away. Or you can just hold still and enjoy. Go ahead and come on out of that stretch. Left ankle over the right knee, right leg towards you. Hug that leg in. And you can either hang out right there if you want to move side to side to find a deeper, more intense stretch you can. And then take your hands out of the way. Drop your left foot down to the floor on your right side. Try to keep your chest as open towards the ceiling as you can. And then you can intensify the stretch by moving your knee. just another breath or two and then come back up onto your back all right good old-fashioned hamstring stretches now take your uh, strap or your band or your loop whatever you've got loop it around your right foot and reach that right leg up high towards the ceiling try to square those hips relax through those shoulders and then lengthen your left leg out long And just slowly move that leg, make little circles or draw little lines. And, and notice how that stretch changes throughout the back of your leg, maybe even up in your calves too. And then try to let that leg be as... Um, passive as possible. So the movement's not going to be coming from the leg. The leg is just going to follow what we're doing with the strap. Uh, we're going to sort of lead the leg into some big leg circles and your pelvis can move side to side. And then just stirring that femur bone in the hip socket. You'll get a nice little hamstring stretch as your leg comes up. And reverse. And then bring that leg back to center. Let's try the other one. Loop the strap around your left foot. Reach that left leg up high. 
Square your hips and lengthen your right leg. And then we're going to start with our little movements. We'll just back and forth a little bit here and there. And then let's get into our big circles. Remember, it's mostly coming from you steering. And you can explore the size of that circle. Okay, we're looking for the, the stirring sensation in the hip joint and also a good hamstring stretch as the legs coming up towards you. Reverse it. <laughs> this is fun. All right, bring that leg to center. Go ahead and release that leg. Roll over to your side and press yourself up to sitting. Thanks so much for joining me and my hips and my hamstrings. It's always a pleasure to spend this time with you and yours. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.